The phrase, my power is made perfect in weakness, indicates the sufficiency of God's grace and its character independent of human strength. This statement is an encouragement from the Lord to the Apostle Paul that he recorded in 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will gladly boast in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. This phrase appears in the Bible in a context in which Paul talks about a kind of suffering that constantly afflicted him. He calls this suffering a thorn in the flesh, but does not explain exactly what it is. Despite our curiosity, there is no benefit to us in knowing the specific nature of this suffering. So it is useless to speculate on its details. What is important is to know that Paul experienced the power of God's grace and shared the Lord's encouragement with us as we read in 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. It is interesting to know that in writing the introduction to the Lord's response, Paul uses the perfect tense. He literally writes, but he has said. Thus, carefully the apostle emphasizes that the Lord's answer is a truth with permanent value, that is, it never becomes outdated and is valid for all believers, in all places and in all times. Therefore, the Lord's words that, my power is made perfect in weakness, is a promise that we should also appropriate. It was recorded in scripture almost 2000 years ago, but it remains valid and applicable for us today, here and now. Paul reflected on the suffering in his life and realized that his own strength was useless to strengthen and comfort him in that situation. Then he understood his total dependence on divine power. To speak of a power that is made perfect in weakness seems to be something completely contradictory. Power and weakness are opposite concepts. But it is Christ's power, and not human power, that is made perfect in man's weakness. Therefore, it is Christ who receives the honor and praise. The true Christian glories in Christ, and not in his own strength. John Calvin explains that God's strength is perfected only where it shines so brightly that it earns the praise due it. John MacArthur comments that the weaker the human instrument, the more clearly God's grace shines. In this same vein S. Kistmaker writes that divine power is shown brilliantly when human weakness is evident to the eye. Naturally we have great difficulty in understanding human suffering. Nobody likes to suffer. But nothing escapes God's control and mysteriously he works his purposes even through our weaknesses. W. W. Wiersbe says that suffering perfects our character and even helps us to share God's character. This last part of the statement, my power is made perfect in weakness, features a Greek verb that is in the present passive. This means that the expression, is made perfect in weakness, means that the power of the Lord is continually made perfect in weakness. Yes, there is a continuous process. While on this earth, the believer will have to deal with suffering. But the good news is that day by day the power of Christ is perfected in his life. After hearing from the Lord, my power is made perfect in weakness, the Apostle Paul was able to glory and take pleasure in weakness. He says, I will therefore gladly glory in weaknesses, and, wherefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses. This does not mean that the Apostle took pleasure in suffering itself, but that he rejoiced and took pleasure and satisfaction in the power of Christ made perfect and revealed through suffering. This is why he completes by saying that he boasted in weaknesses so that the power of Christ might rest upon him. So for love of Christ, strengthened by his power and anchored in the sufficiency of divine grace, Paul could take pleasure in weaknesses. That is why he declares in 2 Corinthians 12 verse 10, For when I am weak, then I am strong. Only those who really understand and appropriate the promise that says, My power is made perfect in weakness, are able to make such a statement. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, activate the notifications, like and share this video with as many people as possible, helping us to share the word of God. May God continue to bless you mightily.